Okay, you're asked to find an equation of this form that models the movement of one car of a Ferris wheel. Uh, actually, just keeping track of its height above the ground. So we're not concerned about where it is horizontally. Um, one thing to focus on is what's the period? Every 40 seconds, this Ferris wheel makes one revolution. So we know that the cosine function is has a period of 2 pi over b, where b is this number right here in front of the t. So we want the period to be 40 seconds. So if we set this equation up and solve for b, there's the value of b, pi over 20. Now, another thing, so, so far we have uh, a cosine of pi over 20 times t plus c. c really represents the midline. And in the standard cosine function, the midline is at zero, y equals zero. And the amplitude is how far above and below the midline the graph climbs. Uh, also, the basic cosine function starts up at its highest point and then travels down. But we want this Ferris wheel to start down and then climb up. So that's why if you, you have to put a at least a negative sign in front of the cosine. And then we're starting below. Here I've added this 14, which is moving the midline from zero up to here. That's the midline. And how far does the Ferris wheel climb above and below its midline? 12 units. So that's the amplitude, A. But it has to be negative so that we start down instead of up. Okay, so h of t equals amplitude, negative 12, cosine of pi over 20 t. That pi over t reduces the period to 40 seconds. And then plus 14 to move the midline up. And here's what we've got. There's the graph. Okay, where I put x greater than z. I used x instead of t. Uh, if you want to answer the question, when is the height 20? I won't really want to know. When is h 20? When are we 20 units above the ground? Okay, and so we're going to set this equation equal to 20 and solve for x. I can subtract 14, divide by negative 12. I get negative 1 half. Pi x over 20 is then equal to inverse cosine of negative 1 half. In the first revolution around the unit circle, there are two places where the cosine is negative 1 half, and that's when this is negative 1 and this is 2, which makes this... Uh, an angle of 60 degrees, or pi over 3. So the places where that uh, produces a value of 20 is at 2 pi over 3 plus 2 k pi, or 4 pi over 3 plus 2 k pi, where k is any integer. And then if I want to solve for x, I multiply both sides by the reciprocal of pi over 20, 20 over pi, and there's the first time that the Ferris wheel reaches a height of 20. And then it goes up to the top and it comes back down and it'll hit 20 again. And here we are at 40, which is the end of the first revolution of the Ferris wheel. And then it repeats all over again. So there are other times where the Ferris wheel hits a height of 20. Uh, there they are. There's the 43rd seconds. Okay. And if you want to know uh, what angle the Ferris wheel turned to reach that first height, it went from here up to here. Um, so what is that angle from here up to here? Well, here's another picture. Uh, 
if this height is 20, the midline is 14, that means this is 6. And, of course, the hypotenuse is 12. So here's the diagram for this angle, theta. Sine of theta is 1 half, so this angle is pi over 6. But we have to account for that angle also, which is pi over 2. So 2 pi over 3. Okay, real quick, I'll share my screen. Go to Desmos so you can see that this blue circle represents the Ferris wheel where I've labeled the height as 2 as we rotate. The red graph is the cosine function that we created. But you'll notice the height mimics the y value of the cosine function. So there's the little Ferris wheel car. There it is reaching a height of 26, back to 20, and there's one complete revolution, taking us back to a height of two feet off the ground. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.